<laughs> Will you lead us in prayer? Yes. Our Father, we thank you for this moment. This is a moment that's been years in the making. And now it's just minutes away. Father, we are so honored and privileged to be here. We are so anxious and full of joy. We dedicate and consecrate this time, this ceremony, to your almighty hands. Our Father, we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and we all say, Amen. Amen. He is a really, really sweet guy. I've definitely loved your kindness, your generosity, and your humility. I know Bobby is one who takes God seriously. He takes his relationship seriously, and he's a man of prayer. I've always admired that, and I pray that will continue as you lead Alyssa in your relationship as her husband. I've always viewed Alyssa in a unique and special way. She was one that was kind and gentle and the smart one. Her kindness and gentleness is definitely the Holy Spirit working in her, and I can see God's goodness and blessings in her life. Your faithfulness to the Lord is always an encouragement to me. And because of your faithfulness to Him, God has been super good and gracious through all the struggles and learnings, and God is truly praised. Our Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us together, not only to this place, but thank you for bringing us to this moment. We have seen your sovereign hand bring this man and this woman together, and we are privileged to share this moment, this experience with them. Father, take these two people and make them one. I stand here today not as a perfect man, or even a good man, but as a man who has many flaws. Knowing that about myself, there's almost nothing I could promise that I alone have the power to keep and fulfill. But I know God is working for us, and He is and will continue to be the one who holds us together. Over the years, we have walked through our share of valleys, shrouded with uncertainty, defined by our differences, and accompanied by unnerving silences. But intent on demonstrating a love that is not conditional, you never let go. And so you turned uncertainties into positivity, filled silences with uncontrollable laughter, and forced me to see how our differences unite so beautifully. I promise to give you my best. I promise to lead you to the cross in good times and bad times. I promise to love you beyond the romance, beyond the words, beyond the feelings. My best is what I vow to you, to work through the trials, to follow you in your compassionate leading, to heed his direction each step of the way. So listen and submit to serve, love, and honor you, to be your partner, closest confidant, I promise to be your biggest fan. Lastly, I promise to lay down my life for you. I will do everything in my power to protect you, and if ever given the opportunity, I will unhesitatingly give my life so that you can have yours. To you, I commit my support, help, and love. United together till death do us part. To this marriage covenant, I pray we stay true. As a minister of the gospel and as an officiant under the laws of the state of California, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Robert, you may now kiss your wife. It gives me a great joy to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Millen. <laughs>